guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Once again, we're going to be doing a rant on another terrible cartoon on Crunchyroll that is part of Crunchyroll Originals. Once again, because we already took a look back on my previous rants on High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox, which are these two are the terrible Crunchyroll Originals. This time, we're going to be doing a rant on this one, and this one is actually based on a webcomic by Warren Ellis as well, and that is none other than Freak Angels, another terrible Crunchyroll original cartoon that has been always been on Crunchyroll, as for the, for the most part of the reason is that this, despite how mediocre Freak Angels is that, it's probably one of the worst basically things of how this all has gotten to a point when it comes to talking about terrible cartoons especially freak angels although i have never read the web comic to be honest with you because i bet you crunchyroll originals crap like freak angels had ruined the webtoon comic as well As how, I mean, this the setting in Freak Angels is that it takes place in a post-apocalyptic setting in Great Britain. As how this goes, of how it progresses, of how the story is, of how we'll get to the story in just a moment. But for right now, I was just talking about the setting as well, because and also the characters that are always have uh, are nothing new about it especially of how, when it comes to, like, how they made this kind of disastrous Crunchyroll original show, like Freak Angels, as well. Because, come to think of it, is that this has got to be one of the disastrous shows of how I have come by on seeing this type of crap of what Freak Angels is, is particularly. And, for the most part, is that I have tried to w seen a, a, a little bit of the first episode of, well, let's get to the episode in just a moment on there as well. I mean, Freak Angels is basically terrible in its own mediocre sort of way. I mean, it doesn't even interest me, though, is that you would expect of how what these types of terrible cartoons of how I come by, of how Freak Angels, how it is. It's like, you're wa like you're walking into, like, a, th a liquor store, and you're, like, s d s doing, while, well, like, they're doing on crack cocaine as how, especially of how you wanted to, how, like, get drunk or something, and OD'd as how especially Freak Angels, especially when you're watching this kind of crap as well. And, for si for some reason, some may say that Freak Angels is like anime. I'm sorry, but to be fair, anime has different types of standards. At least I'm trying to confuse you out, because, first of all, Freak Angels is not on sites like Anime Planet or Anime List, no, because anime is in Japanese. And two, the animation quality on here, it looks almost, look like something, like, not even new, looks like something how it looks very bland of how the animation quality looks as well. And they just put in, like, these loud sound effects that will blow your ears off as well. Or till your you get your hearings hurt, especially like you're seeing this at an IMAX movie theater, and without having these earplugs as well for the thing of how I come by on seeing this type of crap like Freak Angels, yeah, and no, it's not an anime because Freak Angels Wiki fandom has. They say it's like an anime series, but it's not even anime because it's not even made in Japan. 
especially freak angels. Well, because despite though this is getting some ne negative reviews now, especially for this kind of crap like freak angels, of how I'm trying to consider the fact of how how I'm learning of how yeah because it's basically made in the United States so it basically looks more of a terrible cartoon than an anime because it, it because this makes look like new like these new ground games those well, well this makes looks like how very trash and repetitive of how freak angels look at how they did this I mean, the, the voice acting is very dull and very not that anything new to this as well. And not only that, this basically makes Newgrounds Flash games look like One Punch Man or the or any anime on there. And two, they put in like these loops of how. They put in every single frames if they ever to put on every single shot whenever they made this kind of mediocre sea of how Freak Angels is. I mean, that's basically the thing. When I come buying on seeing these kind of terrible cartoons on particularly Crunchyroll, that is part of Crunchyroll Originals as well. And I'm talking the three exceptions we'll get to in just a moment, because we haven't gotten to that just yet. I mean, the summer, the story on Freak Angels is that it takes place of how around in the in the White Chapel, which is the last bit last station of humanity for over six years when the world ended, any apocalyptic event trapping Great Britain with a mysterious drone on these purple energies. I think this is basically one of London's last neighborhood. Of how it's preserved on the for the protection of a Greek angels who are a group of physically powered 23 year olds with their fragile peace when they became threatened however when their friend who is exiled returned they were exposing these past conspiracies with any conflicts of how it's fractured makeshifts of how will they survive yeah, that I mean, yeah, the story basically is a lot more terrible as well, and it basically sits like a moldy sandwich that, like, it's been sitting in in your lunchbox, which is right in your video collection for like more than a decade ago as well. Come to think of it, that's particularly the thing of how mediocre and how bland. And how garbage is um, Freak Angels, basically, of how this has gone to how terrible this show is, as well. This is how you want to consider how you come by on seeing these tiny kinds of terrible cartoons. Yeah. And on top of this, yeah, this basically ruined the Webtoon comic. Although I never read the Webtoon comic before, because I thought this is all new to this particularly. Of its own little capable of how, when it come by and on seeing these kinds of mediocre shows like um, Freak Angels. And on top of this, this has got to be terrible. Especially for Freak Angels, of how it's basically mediocre. Yeah, the, the, the story looks almost as not very important to me though I mean the animation it doesn't look anything that is almost that good as particularly especially freak angels as how when I come buying on seeing this kind of crap of how what I found on Crunchyroll original as well because this has gotten to your typical certain thing of how I come buying on the scene. Like, no wonder why how Crunchyroll's gotten a lot of criticism. 
like always keep milking people for making these original shows that are part of the Crunchyroll originals. Especially the three cartoon exceptions like High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox. Freak Angels is the third of the the terrible three of the Crunchyroll originals. This has gotten to be mediocre of how terrible this show is. Yeah, the characters are annoying in this one. Well, the, the voice acting is doesn't even look uninteresting. The sound effects were basi basically too loud, like, that will blow your ears out. Especially when it's too loud of how they put it. And then, like, the battle, the fight scenes in um, on, um, Freak Angels is that during the how they basically wanted to like kick this person they put in these pace scenes of the slow motion scenes of how they put it in every scene what they put in freak angels as how they do this as well yeah because of the mediocrity of how terrible freak angels is as well man i know this is based based on a webcomic which was created in 2008 by the the writer and er, Warren Elise and the artist named Paul Duffield as well. I mean, Crunchyroll Studios made this kind of garbage like Freak Angels? Wow. Just... It's like... You got one of those terrible cartoons, what Crunchyroll Studios made, like they always wanted to keep milking them for all the time. I wonder how they do this, basically. This has gotten a lot of criticism, basically, especially for a terrible cartoon like Freak Angels, as how. And on top of this, this has got to be one of the worst, as how. The worst of all these Crunchyroll above the Crunchyroll originals, aside from High Guardian, Spice, and Onyx Equinox. Th this has got to be one of the trashiest shows of all these terrible cartoons. I mean, what were they thinking? Like, really? I mean, I, I tried to watch this episode, and how, how bad? No wonder why it's gotten a lot of criticism. That's basically of how one they have to do this, particularly of how what I come buying on seeing these types of terrible cartoons like this, especially on Crunchyroll Originals, as has gotten to the point out as well. Yeah, this has gotten to a point of the thing as how I cannot believe it. Why would Crunchyroll Studios make this kind of garbage as well? I wonder the thing of how... Why would they do this type of crap? Wow. Just wow. Crunchyroll Originals is basically how... They have these three types of cartoons that are terrible. M more terrible as I thought, basically, of how... Would I come buying on seeing these kind of cartoons that are terrible which you get the point though as how what I understand why basically and how I got to the thing for terrible cartoons like this of what I see on Crunchyroll originals is how that's the reason of how this has gotten to that as well on top of this basically this is basically bland as well no wonder why it's gotten some negative reviews on there because it has received a lot of criticism, basically. I mean, this basically of how it ruined the, the Webtoon con. I mean, what they, like... I mean, authors didn't know of how they wanted their Webtoons to be adapted for cartoons to be animated, like, for Crunchyroll originals, especially, like, you know... The writer of the Freak Angels webtoon comic, they wanted him to, like, adapt his webtoon of how they made it into, like, a an episode for that was made, wanted to be made by Crunchyroll Originals, of how they basically wanted to 
learn the fact of how they do this, basically. Like, deeply throughout, these types of lineups of crunchy roll to be added on there. Especially what how they made this as how very bad Crunchyroll Originals has always been doing this deeply throughout the, to the point out as how they did that. Well, that was basically as I thought. I guess in the same way of how they always do this, especially when they made terrible fucking cartoons, especially Freak Angels. Much like Onyx Equinox and High Guardian Spice, it's how they basically wanted to make this kind of crap like that, as how they made these types of terrible cartoons what Freak Angels is, as how. I mean, this is basically how, if I want to watch something better, I would go and watch the Animatrix. At least the Animatrix is better than Freak Angels, because that's the reason why how very bad Freak Angels is, because no wonder why how this has gotten so much criticism, what Crunchyroll has, basically, up until Funimation bought Crunchyroll, but that'll be subject for another time. But anyhow, Freak Angels, on the other hand, is that this has got to be terrible, more terrible as I thought for an awful cartoon like this. Especially of what they had to do this. And to be fair though, Crunchyroll Originals is how it's basically very bland and terrible in all this as well. Because this has received so much negative reviews as how what Crunchyroll Originals always wanted basically got to the point out as how this they always want to do this as well particularly. Yeah, because the animation looks very bland, and it looked like something I don't think Newgrounds would accept, and or look like something like a rejected Newgrounds game as well, as the characters are no are very nothing new to this. The story is n not even that important. The animation looks well. We already talked about the animation though. Um, the music. Um, not the, anything new, though. The sound effects, it's always kind of loud, though, and it will hurt your ears, though. And, for all of this, and this has basically wanted to be another terrible, trashiest show on Crunchyroll Originals, particularly. And for overall, if you want to... For overall, this has got to be one of the trashiest trashiest shows, kind of like High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox. I mean, if this ever gets a... If Freak Angels ever gets a Blu-ray release, I am not buying this yet, because no wonder why a... This has got to be the trashiest, terrible cartoon most like to the... compared to the other terrible cartoons out there of its kind. But this one, particularly of how what makes Freak Angels is a lot more stupid, is that it's very unoriginal, basically. This is nothing new to Freak Angels of how that's why I come by on seeing these kind of terrible cartoons. And guess what? Freak Angels is basically not my favorite because I just hate it. Freak Angels, basically. I cannot believe I've seen this. I, for all though, for my thoughts on um, Freak Angels, though, I saw the, only a, a, f a few minutes of the, ep the first episode of Freak Angels on Crunchyroll, and oh boy, I just realized that this has got to be very bad as well. Because I ha wonder how Crunchyroll has got a lot of criticism as well, particularly from the point out as how this has got to be one of those disastrous, mediocre shows right next to High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox, what Freak Angels is. Because I think this 
Crunchyroll original, terrible cartoon. Freak Angels had ruined the, the Webtoon comic as well. Although, I haven't been reading the Freak Angels Webtoon comics because I've never read any of them, to be honest, though, because I thought this is all new, though. Or something very how what I got to the point out of how I've been understanding the thing of how I come by on seeing this. Mind you, this has got to be considered to be the terrible crunchy roll original car terrible cartoons as well. I guess in the same way how George of the Jungle 2 is the worst terrible direct to video Disney film as well. Along with Inspector Gadget 2 as well. Another terrible direct to video Disney film as well. We'll get to that in some other time as well. For Onyx, uh, no, no, not, not I um, mean, I mean, Freak Angels, however, um, this has got to be one of the ter terrible shows that were on Crunchyroll Originals as well, because I cannot believe Crunchyroll has Freak Angels, which is the part of the Crunchyroll Originals as well. I guess that's kind of like how, uh, considered to the fact of how Artemis Fowl is one of the worst mo Disney movies from Dis that are always ended up on Disney Plus as well. For Freak Angels, on the other hand, however, overall, this show has got to be the, the disastrous, mediocre cartoons of how this basically would have gotten as well. I'm looking at you, Dragon Ball Evolution. Freak Angels is one of the terrible cartoons that are on Crunchyroll Originals. I mean, seriously. Freak Angels how it is basically the terrible cartoon as well. And I'm and I am very glad that I hope Rotten Tomatoes would score a 1 for this. Well, there is no audience score. I wish. If they did, then they'll put it as a zero, a 1. Just as considered how terrible Freak Angels is. Because I cannot believe this was part of Crunchyroll Originals. That's why. Because I cannot stand these kind of... Crunchyroll original crap shows like Freak Angels because it's very mediocre though this has gotten to be the terrible cartoons that Freak Angels is as well you get you get out you know what I mean as well because Freak Angels I cannot stand it because I just hated it as well because this has got to be one of those mediocre terrible cartoons as well and my score for Freak Angels, I'm going to give it a 1. Just a 1. Yeah, that, that's right. I'm going to give Freak Angels a 1. Because this is one of, the, one of those terrible cartoons that are part of Crunchyroll Originals. Along with the other two, like High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox, basically. That was the reason why. Well, so that's going to be it for my rant about the disastrous of the, the disastrous Crunchyroll original show like Freak Angels for today's video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching. But before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this video. Well, speaking of which, though, what I'm going to say for this, Freak Angels, this has to be one of those terrible mediocre cartoons that are part of Crunchyroll originals basically because I think this is basically how it ruined the webtoon comic though but to be fair I have never read the webtoon comic to be honest because I betcha the cartoon the terrible cartoon like Freak Angels is basically how they're trying to imitate anime but if I want to watch something better to get up to when I can be in a chill mood, I can watch Fist of the North Star, 1986 anime movie, The Animatrix, anything that is way better than 
than Freak Angels as well. Because I cannot believe it. Freak Angels is worse as High Guardian Spice and Onyx Equinox. That's why. Because that's the part of how Crunchyroll has got these criticisms of how they put these kind of um, terrible cartoons like Freak Angels, High Guardian Spice, and Onyx Equinox. Because those are the three of the terrible cartoons under Crunchyroll Originals as well. From the point out of how I understand why, basically. That's the, the biggest thing about it. Kind of like how George of the Jungle 2 and Inspector Gadget 2 are the worst direct-to-video Disney films as well. And the same, same goes for Artemis Fowl. It's also another terrible Disney film on Disney Plus, though, as well. For Onyx Equinox, however, is that... No, no not Onyx. Well, I meant Freak Angels. Freak Angels, however, this has got to be mediocre, that's why. Hope to subscribe for content, my anime planet link in the description down below. If you want to check out my anime planet, the link will be in the description down below. If you want to check out my anime planet... Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below about Freak Angels, which is one of those disastrous, mediocre, Crunchyroll original shows as well. And also, smack the like button if you enjoy this video. Be sure to click on the subscribe button. Feel free to check out my channel if you're new to my channel. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well. Oh, because I had to rant. This is the third rant on one of those Crunchyroll Originals, because that's a good way to avoid those Crunchyroll Originals, because I'm sick and tired of those Crunchyroll Original craps as well. Like, especially, well, because there's only three exceptions on there, which are, which I hate, that are High Guardian Spice, Onyx Equinox, and Freak Angels. That's why. This is Ruroni K95 saying, thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon for more videos. Take care. Bye.